Identifying a rough diamond at home may seem challenging, but with the right methods and careful observation, you can evaluate whether the stone you have could be a real diamond. Rough diamonds have distinct characteristics that set them apart from glass, quartz, and other common minerals. This guide will walk you through the most reliable at-home techniques used by enthusiasts and gemstone hunters worldwide. 1. Examine the crystal structure. Rough diamonds naturally form in an octahedral, eight-sided, or dodecahedral shape. Look for sharp edges but not perfectly smooth, a waxy, greasy surface, a natural, raw look without perfect symmetry. If your stone looks too glassy or rounded, it may not be diamond. Nubja 2. Check for transparency and light behavior. Diamonds do not shine like polished gems when rough. Instead, they appear slightly translucent, not fully transparent, dull with a greasy luster, not sparkling like crystal or cubic zirconia. Hold the stone under a light source. Rough diamonds scatter light inside, but do not create rainbow reflections like fake stones. Hab 3. Perform the scratch test, hardness test. Diamond is the hardest natural material, 10 on Mohs scale. To test safely at home, use a steel blade or glass piece. Gently attempt to scratch the diamond's surface. A real diamond will not scratch, but it can scratch other materials. Do not apply excessive force to avoid damaging surrounding minerals. 4. The conductivity test, heat test. Diamonds disperse heat extremely fast. Try this method. Warm the stone with your fingers. Place it near your lips. A real diamond cools down almost instantly. Many fakes, like glass, remain warm for longer. Number 5. Inspect. Under a magnifying glass, tens loop. Under magnification, real rough diamonds show internal inclusions, tiny natural imperfections, grain lines, small stress marks, a greasy surface texture. Fakes often look too clean and flawless. Numbers are six, water drop test, density indicator. Place the stone in a clear glass of water. Real diamonds have high density, so they sink immediately. Many fakes float or sink slowly. This test is not 100% conclusive, but helpful. Seven, UV light test. Under ultraviolet light, many rough diamonds fluoresce blue or purple. However, not all diamonds fluoresce. Some fakes may show similar light reactions. Use this test only as supporting evidence. A8, oil test for clarity and texture. Because diamonds have a greasy surface, they attract oil more than water. Try, place a small drop of oil on the stone. If it spreads evenly and sticks to the surface, it's a good sign. Glass and quartz repel oil more. Number nine. Look for natural mineral indicators. Diamonds are often found with kimberlite, garnet, olivine, chrome diopside, magnetite. If your stone came from such environments, the chance of it being diamond increases. 10. When to seek professional verification. If your stone passes multiple home tests, it's worth getting a certified gemologist to confirm. Only a professional can provide laser analysis, electrical conductivity tests, X-ray diamond identifier, official grading reports. Final thoughts. Identifying a rough diamond at home requires patience and combining several tests. No single test is conclusive on its own, but when multiple signs align, shape, hardness, density, luster and inclusions, your stone may indeed be a real rough diamond.